Hi, this is Jay Weathers from the Deep Learning Team, AWS Solutions Architect Professional, and MCSA Cloud Platforms. I'm really excited because today we're entering the 2018 Data Science Bowl. We're using AWS SageMaker to pull the data down the S3, and we're going to run all of our algorithms from AWS SageMaker. Let's get started. First things first, we went to the Kaggle website, registered for the 2018 Data Science Bowl. The goal is to find nuclei in divergent images to advance medical discovery. This is awesome. This is exciting. This is groundbreaking. And this is why we're entering the Data Bowl. We have a Slack channel. It's here. We'd love for you to be a part of it and help us win this challenge. We're so excited. Okay, so Data Science Bowl, Let's get into how to pull the data, which is here on Kaggle. You got your sample submission CSV, your test CSV, your train CSV, train zip, and your train labels zip. These are very extremely large images, and I'm going to show you a video on how to get those images from here to Amazon S3 without downloading these images to your computer okay so to hit the ground running what I did was I went to timeline and pulled this Kiros UNET starter that was created by Jatil Adal Savik and it's a really quick notebook you can actually fork this notebook I believe I've already forked it and then you can actually download this notebook and it gives you a good starting point for your algorithm. Once that comes up, you're going to click this download button and pull that down to your hard drive. From there, you go to SageMaker Notebook. I've already done this, but let me show you how I do it. I go to AWS SageMaker, go to SageMaker, in service. I open my SageMaker instance, I go upload, and then here's the notebook that I downloaded. I'm going to open that, click upload, and then I'll have that notebook. I can rename it, so I'm going to rename it Science Bowl. Click upload, awesome, if you click here, here's the Science Bowl and you select the kernel, this one is Python 3, set kernel, good to go. Okay, since we already have this notebook here, first things first, so what I did was, I went to a pre-baked AWS framework. I used the image classification from Caltech, I used the transfer learning model. I copied this, which provides us the authentication access to AWS, the roles and the buckets, and the Docker images for AWS. Next, what we're going to do is actually copy this piece, which tells AWS where to download the packages from. Now let's go back to the Kaggle website, and where the download is, what I have highlighted right here, we're going to paste in the Kaggle link. Now if we go back to the Kaggle website, I'm going to click on the train download button, copy the link address, go back to the notebook, and paste in the train data. But first I need to add an actual download link for this particular URL. So paste that in. Now I'm going back to the train label CSV file. Click on the copy link address for that. Sorry, the train zip. Copy that link. Now I'm going to create another downloads for this one. So I have four packages I have to download from the 
from the Kaggle website. Download, paste that link in for the train label CSV. Now I'm starting to create the buckets. Upload to S3 and I have to name the, name the buckets accordingly. And those buckets are actually going to be stored inside of my S3 folder structure. And S3 is my storage. Okay, great. Typing that all in, getting it ready. Sample results, okay. So I'm gonna call this sample submission. Call this bucket, because this is creating the bucket. I'm gonna call this bucket the test. Call this bucket train. For Caltech bucket, I'll name it stage. This is where stage test.zip. You have to actually name the file that it's going to be. Here, I'm going to name this one stage one underscore train.zip. And this one I'm going to name. Stage one underscore train underscore labels dot CSV dot zip. Okay, so I have four columns, so I need to add another upload the S3 here. And I'm going to make this yeah, I saw I made a mistake, so I should actually put this one underneath because I want them to line up with the data. So I'm going to take this out and put my test. This folder is going to be my test folder. It's going to be my train folder. It's going to be my train labels. Sample submission. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now I have to. Okay, so now we have that done. Okay, stage one. All right, everything looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the cell and see what happens. So the bucket we identified was the video deep learning. We ran that, it executed. And I'm going to run this one and see if we could get this working. Okay. It ran a little too fast, but let's see if uh, we got our folders. Oh, our folders are there. Yes. All right. That was fast. That was like lightning fast. Okay. So we got our, our folders there. We have our data in S3. We have our notebook. That was awesome. So freaking awesome. Okay. All right. So we're going to start our competition. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like our channel. Most importantly, join our Slack channel. You'll see the link below. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. How to pull data into AWS S3 from Amazon SageMaker. Have a great day.